To evaluate the efficiency and safety of promising and novel gene therapy approaches, the comprehensive testing of gene-modified cells in validated preclinical in vivo models is crucial. The conservation of relevant cell surface markers, cross-reactivity of reagents, and ability to apply the same supportive treatments administered to patients allow non-human primate models to closely mimic clinical parameters. Demonstrating the procedure with me will be Anna E. Perez, a research technician from Dr. Hans-Peter Kiem's laboratory. Begin by adding 10 to 12 milliliter aliquots of bone marrow isolated from a healthy non-human primate donor into 50 milliliter conical tubes. Bring the volume of the tube up to 50 milliliters with hemolytic buffer and incubate the cells for up to 7 minutes at room temperature. Remove the cell debris by centrifugation and aspirate all but the last 2 to 5 milliliters of the supernatant. Resuspend the pellet in the residual supernatant volume by flicking the tube and transfer the bone marrow suspensions into a new 50 milliliter tube using a 70 micrometer pore cell strainer to remove any blood clots. Add fresh hemolytic buffer to bring the volume up to 50 milliliters and incubate the cells for another 5 minutes at room temperature before their collection by centrifugation. Aspirate all of the supernatant and resuspend the cells in 10 milliliters of max buffer. Before filtering the cell suspension through another 70 micro